This is my website, planetxtube.com, and uh, I've got an article on here, and it's called David Icke Exposed as an Illuminati Witch. And this article is the end of Mr. David Icke. This article is, uh, at the moment, over 60 pages uh, in length, and it's going to continue to grow um, because, unlike a video, of course, I can edit it as I go along and I can add more information. And if any of you have got more information to uh, add to this, please uh, be my guest and send it to me. And I, I will add it and give you the credit. First of all, let's begin here. Uh, I'm just going to run you through this briefly because it's very, very long. David Icke covering one eye. And there's his ex-wife, Pamela Lay Richards, uh, doing the same thing. That's a Masonic symbol, as you all know. Um, it gets worse, though, because uh, Neil Haig, his book designer, uh, also does the same thing. And uh, that's um, a snapshot from, from his Facebook page. So he can't possibly deny that he also covers one eye. As we go down in this article, um, I explain why they covered the eye there with, the, with this video. Uh, because Alexander the Great had one uh, dark eye and one light eye. And uh, as we go further down, um, I take apart his book covers and show that they are in fact um, related to um, Apollyon, the sun god with the rays that you can see here and here. And even this that he's got here, this censored sign here, it is an anagram for encoders. Um, plus, uh, there's another problem too to do with uh, this guy here, who is Osiris, because on his book cover, there's Osiris there, hiding um, alongside David Icke. And uh, also David Icke is doing exactly the same uh, finger signals as Zeus, who is the devil himself. Um, and also the Pope does the same hand signals, and so does uh, uh, Tony Blair, the ex-Prime Minister of the UK. Um, I also show David Icke here in that same pose there as Zeus, here with those, uh, with those finger signs there, admitting in this video that that's him sitting in the Grand Master Mason's chair. Now the whole video takes you through just about every single aspect um, which has brought suspicion upon David Icke uh, being an Illuminati and covers that uh, with clear evidence. And uh, here, for instance, we've got Polly on the Destroyer uh, making that very same hand sign there, uh, which uh, David Icke uh, claims that it's to do with his condition that he's doing that. But further in this article, uh, I show lots of pictures of uh, the articulation that David Icke is capable of with his hands, which shows that it's not as bad as some people may actually perceive it to be, and he can make an incredible amount of uh, uh, finger shapes and signals with that. So uh, his excuse there is also completely wiped out. Um, again here showing the same hand sign that Hitler's doing, um, there's his ex-wife again doing exactly that, uh, that same uh, hand and, uh, and arm finger signal thing. Um, throughout ancient paintings, same thing again, um, on and on about reptilians, etc. The reptilians, for instance, um, from the Jesus Christ parable of the wheat and the tares, um, that's Jesus Christ's uh, exposure. It's not something that David Icke came up with on his own. He can't actually take any credit for it because it's already in the Holy Bible and it shows that on here. Plus his son also making that same uh, hand sign there. Um, and uh, other hand signs, including this, this uh, 666 type, type thing here. And uh, also this hand sign here, which is the same as what Alistair Crowley, and he's uh, seeing here a younger Alistair Crowley, was doing here too. Um, so the whole thing covers um, basically members of his family too, such as, as I said, his wife. And here's a YouTube video, uh, which I've embedded here, of David Dyke's wife. Uh, and she says that this is, it's Pamela Lay Richards, and it's called 12 Seconds for Peace. Uh, it's on YouTube. Watch this and tell me that it isn't witchcraft. Now, I would personally say nutcase alert there, um, because uh, obviously, you know, she's out in a thunderstorm, and Zeus is the so-called god of thunder and lightning, and she's out there doing that weirdness in a, th in a thunderstorm for peace. So therefore, it's a ritual for peace, therefore it is magic, because that's what she's doing. She's uh, performing uh, that art there, or whatever you want to call it, um, in, in order that there's, that there's peace, so therefore it is magic. And we move on to David Icke and Pamela making the same hand signals, and also David Icke's uh, website that is in green, and the earth is shown as a cryptic green sun, which is another 
pagan symbol, which I'll show you in one moment. And David Icke depicted as a green man. And the green man, now witches are depicted as green, giants are depicted as green, uh, Osiris is depicted as green. Here's Krigo Matwa, David Icke's uh, witch doctor sidekick there with a, with, with a green face there. Okay, uh, there's the green man from the, uh, from, from the Pagans in bulk festival. And uh, there's Alistair Crowley, depicted as a green man with a sun around the back of his head there. Um, there's uh, something very interesting there, I should just drop in here. Um, I, I went to Turkey and I drove past the military base, but I was too scared to take a photograph. So if any of you have got a photograph of what I'm about to say, please send it in. And it was in fact of Kemal Ataturk on the gates of that Turkish military base with a green face. Uh, let's move on here, because we've got here Pagan Police Association, they use the green man. You see, it's the sun. It's got it in the shape of a sun, but made out of leaves here. Um, also, other stuff here about the, you know, the, uh, the Matrix and so on and so forth. And uh, uh, David Icke's son here depicted, uh, Scarif Icke depicted as a lion. A lion is the devil in the Bible, yeah? And with a green face. So he's half man, half lion, like a sphinx, which I, I, believe, I believe that sphinxes were, uh, were uh, uh, genetically uh, made up in honour of Apollyon the beast, because one of his names is Apollyon, yes? In Greek, how you say that is Apolleos, and Laos in Greek is a lion, and he, he, one of his names is also Leo, Leo, name of a lion, it's Greek for a lion, and uh, I believe that's why they mix them up, and to, to make them in honour of Apollyon the beast, and here is David like son, depicted as a lion with a green face, okay, on and on it goes, um, about Krigo Matwa and all of the pagan symbolism that, that, um, that he's actually using, which all again relates back to Helios, the beast from the pit. Um, the definition of Zanusi, uh, by, by the way, also, is, is, um, an, uh, it says it's a, a militant, um, aggressive brotherhood. It's a secret society uh, which uses aggressiveness to, to get its, its own way. And, and this is a definition of it here. I haven't made that up. That is the definition of the word. Um, again, moving on, pagan cross. Um, showing Credo Matwa and David Icke with sons behind them here. Um, that the smiley face symbol that you see, that you know, the, the one that they used to uh, do with the music, you know, say, I see that one, yeah. It's actually, again, it's a worship of Apollyon. Here it is on a Mason's uniform, the smiley sun face, the sun, the sun god. Um, again, it just carries more and more onto all the different ways that uh, David Icke can move his hands, what kind of shapes he can make with his with his hands and fingers, and it shows that it's not as bad as most people perceive it. David Icke using the XXX, I've actually got a video in production at the moment, which I'm going to put on here, showing him brazenly using the triple X over and over again, which uh, those of you who watch my videos know uh, that it's a Roman numeral, it's a number, 10, it can be pronounced as a word, which is EO. So, EO, 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 uh, that's the name of the beast three times, because the, uh, the X, as you know it, it is a number, it's a mark and it's a name of the beast. Uh, let's keep moving down now. Here, there's David Icke here with uh, five other people. So that's six together in, in, in his old role in the BBC on the breakfast team with the sun behind them again. And uh, also break down the BBC's logo. It actually, uh, it's uh, Greco-Roman cryptography which says Eos, which is sun. And uh, again, more stuff about uh, his son here and the, on his album, he's got swirls which are like sixes. Um, and uh, on and on, on and on, lots and lots of stuff there. So if you want to have a look at this article, guys, it's, uh, it's an ongoing article. It's not ever uh, going to finish until it's finished, basically, when I've put enough on there. But really, uh, if you read this article here, even if, you, if you're undecided, you will decide. If you're uh, an avid David Icke fan, you will become undecided. Uh, if you're an, an avid David Icke fan, you probably become very angry after reading this article, but I haven't actually put in there uh, my personal opinions or uh, launched into any attacks like calling people prats or things like that. I've just stuck to the facts here of what these signs and symbols mean and what um, we've got photographs and video of Mr. David Icke, uh, his wives and, uh, and his son doing. So that's irrefutable evidence and evidence that needs to be answered to. So um, basically, as I said, this article is the end of Mr. David Icke. And uh, I'll stand by what I said. And I think you'll find that I'm 
perfectly correct. So it's planetxtube.com and the article you're looking for on my website is called David Icke Exposed as an Illuminati Witch.